In this video, we're just going to have a look at the library functionality that's a new addition to the Bella IDE. So again, I have a Bella Mini starter kit connected to my laptop. And I've also now connected one of our Trill bar sensors to the, the mini board. And this is an I2C based sensor, meaning that we need an additional library to read from it. It's not as simple as an analog input or a digital input actually requires few extra files in order to get it to work. So let's open up the the Bella IDE. So again that's at bella.local and just again you don't need an internet connection to access this is actually served from the board and the library functionality is the the bottom tab here. Under the libraries tab we have a variety of different code libraries that can be used in your projects. So some of these are to do with synthesis, like ADSRs, different types of filters and oscillators. A lot of them are, are communication protocols like MIDI, open sound control, and web sockets. And then we also have libraries for things like the GUI that we saw in the previous video, the scope again that we saw, and for communicating with different types of sensors. So here we find the, the Trill library, and this library is designed to handle the I2C communication with the Trill sensors for capacitive touch interaction on Bella. And if I want to include this library into my project, if I'm writing a project from scratch, it's just as simple as adding this line to the top of your C++ file, render.cpp most normally. And from this tab, I can also look at all the examples that are already using this library. As I mentioned, I have a Trill bar already connected to Bella. So I'm going to go for Trill bar GUI, and uh, load that example and run it. So this example, we can see actually uses two libraries. It uses the Trill library alongside the GUI library as well. Now that's running, what I want to do is launch the GUI. And now what we see is a representation of the Trill bar sensor in the GUI. And as I touch it, we can see that finger position uh, and size comes up as a differently colored circle. Now let's have a look at one more example from here. So let's go to Trill Bar Multitouch Ferriman. Let's run that example. And we can see here that this example is actually using three different libraries. So it's using the Trill library, it's using the one pole filter library, and the oscillator library. And so it's using the one pole library to filter the readings we're getting from Trill just to smooth them out a bit, and an oscillator library um, just as an oscillator, as you'll hear. So here, each touch, the position of each touch calls, c controls the frequency of an oscillator and uh, the touch size controls its amplitude. So within the Libraries tab, we also have the ability to look at the, the libraries themselves. So here we have trill.cpp. So if we're wanting to understand how exactly to work with this library, I mean, the best place to go is to the examples, but we can also investigate the, the uh, library files themselves here. At the moment, this collection of libraries is curated by the Bella team, but in the near future, we're going to have user-contributed libraries integrated into the IDE.